212 This is not necessarily for publication This one here is rated R Restricted The reason it's rated R Because what we about to bring out Is an offense to the entire world But that's not new Because to bring out the gospel And the truth about Christ Is to offend the entire world The church system as we know it today Is a farce and a lie Islam as we know it today Is a farce and a lie these things have nothing to do with Christ, nothing to do with the King of the Jews, nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with the Savior. The church is filled with a bunch of Sadducees and Pharisees, money-grubbing gangster thieves that need to be removed from their seat as Christ prescribed in the Bible. And that's why it's important for us to know that these churches, all these churches and religions are teaching lies, man. Entire so-called Christian churches are teaching lies. Islam is a lie. All these religions are lies, and they stop us from knowing who we really are, and that stops us from following the Bible, man. The church is teaching us that the religion the laws are done away with. They teaching us that the laws are done away with. That's why all our women can go sit up in the church on Sunday, go on Monday, on Wednesday, different days, have Bible study, come out and be the biggest freaks they are, man. The Bible plainly says you're supposed to hate the white man. Why? Because the white man has done crimes against God's chosen people, man. The white man hated blacks and Hispanics and built the most powerful nation on the planet Earth. What shows you hate is what? That hate is right. There's a wrong hate and a right hate, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian. We hate each other. That's the wrong hate. We hate the blacks. We hate the Hispanics. When the white man has the blacks and Hispanics in slavery, in hell, we have a common enemy, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian. And the only thing that's going to bring us together, black man, native Indian, and Hispanics is God's words. That's from the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge, man. On the commander journey of honor, you're going to learn how to serve God and hate the white man. That's right. You're That's going to right. learn how to hate July 4th. July 4th ain't got nothing to do with black people, with Hispanics and Native Indian. America declared independence in 1776. We were black people. We were still in slavery. We were still in slavery. Slavery was so-called abolished in 1864. Which tells you what? That the American Constitution ain't got nothing to do with black people. Right. Ain't got nothing to do with Hispanics and Native Indian. Right. Just like the Bible ain't got nothing to do with a white man. Right. Ain't got nothing to do with a Chinese. Right. Ain't got nothing to do with the Africans, right. man. Right. It got to do with the God-chosen people, man. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian, man. And I'm going to prove to you, black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian, and this Bible lets you are God people, man. Go, go, to, um, go to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Let's get it, man. Your pastors ain't going to take you to these, to these scriptures. Why? Because they're the $2 hoes for the white man. They hold themselves out for, the, for this white man. Good. Good and proper, man. But these, but the Bibles, but God say he's going to reserve a thousand men that will not bow their feet to Baal, man. That ain't going to bow their feet to Christianity. They ain't going to bow their feet to Islam. They ain't going to bow their feet to God's words, man. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. Now who's speaking here? This is Moses. And who is Moses speaking to? Read. 
and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. And he said, if you do what? To do, to, to observe and to do all his commandments. To observe and do all his commandments. Meaning, you observe all these holidays in the Bible, man, and you do them. You observe all the laws in this Bible, and you do them. Not some, not some of the laws. What? All his commandments. All his commandments. Meaning all his laws in this Bible that God laid on for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. Read on. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on. Hold up, hold up, man. You telling me that God said if we obey his laws, what? That, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He was going to set who on high? Set thee on high. D. Who is that D? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read. Above all nations. Above who? Above all nations. Where you get where where do we get equality from, black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian? Where do we get equality from? The white man was not equal to us. That's why we were in chains and brought to America to solve our slavery because we were not equal to him. And we think today we equal, we still equal, we equal with a white man. A black man, I got bad news for you, man. Hispanic man, I got bad news for you. Native Indian, I got bad news for you, man. We are not equal to no white man. We are not equal to him. And God is saying it in the Bible here. Read it again. Above all nations. Above all nations. But today, the blacks and Hispanics and Native Indian are at the bottom of every race in America. Why? We're going to get it in the Bible. We're going to let the Bible talk. We're going to let the Bible talk, man. Read. Above all nations of the earth. Above all nations of the earth. Now he's saying that if we obey him. Now skip me down to verse 15. Skip me down to verse 15. Let's bring it out, man. I'm going to show you what you've been missing, man. Missing out on. The truth according to this Bible, man. Black people have died because of lies. Hispanics have died because of lies that the Christian church pushes, man. The Christian church hates black people, man. The Christian church hates Hispanic people and native Indian people, man. Ain't no love in that place, man. You gonna tell me there's love when they're molesting kids in the Catholic church, in the Christian church? That's hate, man. I mean, proving it here in the scriptures, man, that God is angry at us, at his people, man. Now read verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. He said, but it shall come to pass. I Meaning this is good. This is a prophecy that is going to come to pass. Read on. If thou wilt. Not hearken. Now he's saying if we're not going to listen to him. God is saying if blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian do not want to obey him, do not want to obey his laws, statutes, and judgment, what was going to happen? But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High thy power to observe to do all his commandments. If you ain't going to listen to what God got to say, if you, want, if you don't want to obey the Bible, why do I say that, black man? Why do I say that? Because the Christian church don't follow anything in the Bible, man. Christ never, Christ never celebrated Christmas. Christ never celebrated Valentine's Day. Christ never celebrated none of these things, man. None of these disciples celebrated these things, man. The Christian church is not of God. And it hate God, man. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. And all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee. Now you're gonna learn what a curse is today. Let's say if a curse is F you, let's see if that, that's a curse. 
Let's see what God calls a curse. Read. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. Meaning, that, meaning these curses was going to run you down no matter where you go. You go on the moon, their curses was going to follow you. You go in any other of these countries, their curses are going to follow you, black man. And God is saying this to Moses. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. What? Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse we are going to be in the city, man. We're going to come to the city and that police man are going to lock us up, man. We're going to have no stores in the city. We come into the city and we got no stores. We got to go to the Chinese man for food, the white man for food. They own all these stores but the black man. We are cursed in the city, man. Read on. And curse shall thou be in the field. And what? And curse shall thou be in the field. That's slavery right there for you, man. Curse shall thou be in the field. That's us getting our back whipped to pick cotton. We are cursed in the field. Read. Curse shall thou like Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. Curse shall be thy basket, man. We ain't got no food to eat in our house, man. We gotta depend on the white man for this wick. That's right. And food stem. We ain't got nothing, man. We ain't got no sort of economy in place for blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indian, man. That's why we go hungry in this place, man. Blacks, Hispanics living on 50 cents a day, man. Food, 50 cents a day in Guatemala and these places, man. Why? Because God cursed us, man. He cursed us for loving this white man. He cursed us for disobeying his laws. Statues and judgment, man. Read. Curse shall, th shall be the fruit of the body. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body. What's the fruit of thy body, black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian? Come take a look at that abortion sign. Come take a look at that, at that abortion sign. That's a horror story, man. And God is saying, curse shall be the fruit of thy basket, man. They say the worst place for a black child to be, man. Ain't in jail, ain't in no hospital, but in a black woman's womb, in a Hispanic woman's womb. Read. And the fruit of, of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flax of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou. Read, read it again. Curse shall, curse shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body, man. This is black Spanish and native Indians speaking about. How we know that? Because our kids get, get thrown into jail, into prisons, man. To jailhouses, man. And the Lord saying, curse thou, thou be, shall be the fruit of thy womb, man. Read. The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. And the increase of thy kind. Why is it saying that? We ain't got no farms, man. We ain't got no, we ain't got no land to grow no crops. To have no farm. Why? Because as a people, as a nation, we need these things to survive. We need these things to survive, man. But God is saying, curse shall be us in the field, man. Curse shall be these. Read on. And curse, and the fruit of thy land, the, and the, in, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall be, shall be when thou comest in, and curse shalt thou be when thou goest out. Curse shalt thou be when I goest in and coming out, man. The Lord was gonna curse us when we go in, when we come out of our homes and go in, man. We are gonna be cursed in this place, man. Read. Verse 20. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth the wife. And another man shall lie with her. This is this is what's going on in the black community, man. Read it again, man. This is why so much brothers are killing each other, man. This is characteristics of a people, man. Of Hispanics and Native Indian. Read it. Read it again. Thou shalt betroth a wife. And Thou shalt betroth a wife. Man, you are going to marry a wife, man. You are going to marry a woman. A Hispanic woman, a black woman, a Native Indian woman. And what was going to happen? And another man shall lie with her. And another man was gonna lie with her. You're gonna have this sister, you're gonna marry this sister, and your own brother was gonna sleep with her, man. And what that caused, man, that caused division. That caused strife. That, 
That caused another man to put a bullet in another man's head. That caused his hatred amongst us, man. And this goes on in the black community, in the Hispanic community, man, in the native Indian community, man. This is, and what does that prove, black man? That you are God chosen people, man, and that God cursed us with these things, man. But this, this, these punishments were prophesied long ago, black man. This is your life, man. It's written in this book, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian. It's written in this book, man, which is proof that this Bible speaks to only the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian, man. Read on. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. You're gonna build a house, man, and you ain't gonna dwell therein. Look, look at what we built, man. We built all these cities for America, man. All these built, 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 built big buildings, man. These hotels. And we won't gonna live in them. Why? Because God prophesied a thousand of years ago, man, that black people are gonna build these places and they won't wanna live in it. We don't. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. You're gonna plant a grape uh, a vineyard, man. Go talk to those Mexicans, man, who gotta pick all those oranges, man. They gotta plant it and pick it, man. And you ain't you ain't getting none of the wealth that come from, from picking that. You're getting paid below minimum wages, man. Below. Why? Because those things were cursed from the Most High, man. Those were punishment the Most High placed on us as a people for not obeying him, man. Read. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. Thine ox are going to be slain before thine eyes, man. The ox is going to be slain before your eyes, black man, and you won't be able to do nothing about it, man. Nothing. Now skip to the verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given into another people. This happened where in what? In slavery. And it's going on right now with social services, man. Read it again from the top. Thy sons and daughters and shall be given into another people. Your sons and daughters were going to be given unto another people, man. You know what they did to us in slavery, man? They took that our kids away from us, man, and sold them to another, man, another white man across states. Where you ain't going to see him again, man. Because those things were cursed from the Most High, man. And this happened to blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian, man. These were punishment that were placed on us. Read. And that eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. Your eyes were going to be filled with longing all the day long, man. And you won't be, and you won't going to see them again, man. Those things were cursed and punishments from the most high on blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian, man. Read, in Mona. And there shall be no might in thy hand. I be no might in thy hand. Me and you ain't gonna be able to go save your kid or stop your kids from being taken away from you. When social services come and pick that kid up, you ain't got no might in your hand, black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man. None whatsoever, man. That's it. That's it. You gotta, you gotta pray and hope you see your mom or dad again when they come pick you up, man. And the Bible prophesies this, man. This goes on in the black, Hispanic, and native Indian community, man. Now skip me down to, to um, you any more on that? Finish it off. Now um, go to verse 43. Skip down to verse 43, man. Skip down to verse 43, man. I'm getting, getting you a major punishment that was placed on blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian, man. These things are called curses in the Bible, man. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. The stranger that is wet within thee, right? Just like those shinies. Those shinies coming to the black community. Sell their food. Thanks. Gracias. This is, this is what happened to us, man. This is what happened to us, man. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall... The stranger, who's the stranger? These heathens, man. These Arabs that come into our community trying to sell us fried fry chicken wings. When the black woman can cook 
can cook better than these people, man. The Hispanics and Native Indian can cook better than a Chinese, than an Arab, than a white woman, man. We cook the best. But these strangers were going to come amongst us and rise over us. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. And thou shalt come down very low. That's what's going on in the black community, man. We are the bottom, man. We got to go to these people for food, for clothes. We got to go to these people for food and clothes, man. Go to the Chinese for food, the white men for clothes, the white men for food. Going to become low in these places, man. The stranger that was among us, man. We're going to come up high. These things are prophecies, man. These things are punishment from God. These things are curses laid up upon blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian for being stubborn, man. For being hard-headed in this place, man. Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He is going to lend to us. We go to all their banks. Bank of America, all these banks we go to. And he lent to us, but we can't lend to him. We've got no economy, man. No banking system that can help black people. And it's prophesied in the Bible, man. The blacks have to go to, to those banks. The Hispanics and the Native Indian, man. Because we ain't got no economy to help us, man. No black economy to help us, man. And what's the proof? Look at what happened to the Clippers, man. With Donald Sterling, man. They sold that team to one white man. He didn't need no loan. He didn't need to come together with no one, nobody. But if Magic Johnson wanted it, he would have to get help from Oprah and Puff Daddy. And they still wouldn't have enough money put together. You know why, black man? Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. That's why, black man. That's why. And that's a curse from God. Don't care how, how rich you think you are in this place, man. God cursed us. Why? Because we disobeyed him. We want to love the white man and not serve God. God punished us, man. He punished us. Now, come me to verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and, and shall pursue thee. All these curses were going to come upon you and pursue, pursue you, black man. Why? You can go wherever on this earth, man. Black people can go wherever on this earth. Hispanics can go wherever on this earth. And these curses were going to follow them. We ain't got no bank nowhere in the earth. No banking system nowhere in the earth. But a white man showed us. The Hispanics ain't got no banking system nowhere in the earth. But a white man sure does, man. He sure does. Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. And overtake thee, man. It has sure, it has, it has overtaked us, man. It has overtaked us. These curses, these punishments have overtaked us, man. Go check the black community, man. Go check the Hispanic community, man. These curses have overtaken us, man. We look destroyed. We look like a destroyed people because God punished us. God punished us, man. Read. Till thou be destroyed. Till thou be what? Destroyed. Till we end up in the prison system. Destroyed. Till we end up in the graveyard. Destroyed. Till we end up on drugs, man. Until we've been destroyed and God punished us, man. And that's what's going on with blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian, man. Those Native Indian men drunk out their mind. Drunk out their mind because they are depressed. And God did that to them, man, because they didn't want to listen to what God got to say. Now skip me down to verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Therefore you are going to serve your, your what? 
thine enemies. The white man is your what? Enemy. That's who you are going to serve, black man. To this day, we still serve the white man. Freedom cannot be given white, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian. You gotta take freedom. You gotta take freedom, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian. You can't be given freedom, man. And the white man gave us freedom. That ain't freedom, man. We're still in slavery. That's why we call out the, the job. He said we gave, he given you a job, but really, that's a slavery. Ain't no different from picking cotton. Ain't no different from picking cotton, black man. The only difference is he gave you money and you give that money right back to him in bills. Same thing over again, black man. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian. The white man is our enemy. It's our common enemy, black man. I ain't telling you to go pick up no gun or no rock like those Muslims across there. I ain't telling you to do that. I ain't telling you to follow after the Black Panthers. I ain't telling you to do that, black man. I'm telling you to obey God and God is going to send Christ with those 200 million angels to destroy your enemy, the white man. That's what I'm telling you to do, man. I'm telling you to forget about Independence Day. Forget about Christmas. Forget about Valentine's Day. Serve the God of this Bible, black man. Serve these laws in these Bibles, man. Serve these laws in this Bible, man. I watch your enemy fall. Watch America go to war with Russia and they both die. Watch that black man. And thank God. Thank him, man. That's your freedom, black man. When the white man is beneath your feet. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in what? And in thirst. In hunger and in thirst. We are hungry, black man. We are thirsty, Hispanic man, native Indian. And if you're thirsty, where are you going to get your water from? If you're hungry, where are you going to get your water from, black man? Oprah Winfrey don't own their park, man. And Asani. And all those water companies, man. Jay-Z don't own no grocery. You got to go to the white man for all your food, water, man. And want. Read it again from the top, man. In hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. And in what? And in nakedness. Where? And in what? And in nakedness. Where do we go get our clothes from, black man? Do black people or Hispanic people got clothing stores? Yeah, they got clothing stores, but where they got to do? go to get that product from, man? From the white man. Prada is a white man, you know that, right? Louis Vuitton, he's a white man, you know that, right? Versace, he's a white man, you know that, right? Levi is a white man, you know that, right? Fruit of the Loom is a white man, you know that, right? You serving him in nakedness, black man. That's right. The white man today say he gonna sell you no more drawers. What gonna happen to black, Hispanics, and native Indian? We gonna walk around swinging in this place, man. We gonna have nothing. We ain't gonna have nothing, man. Read. And in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron. In want of all what? Of all things. In want of all things. Do black people even own a toilet paper factory? Nope. So if the white man say no more toilet paper for black people, what are we going to do? <laughs> he say no more water for black people, what are you going to do? Hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> what, when the white man turned up the food stamps, the oh. black man went crazy. <laughs> Come on, man. Let yet, and, yet and still, Martin Luther King dream was good. It was a nightmare to blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Right? Right. It was a nightmare to us, man. Read it again. And in want 
of all things. They want of all things, man. Let's read on further. And he shall put a yoke of iron. And he shall what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. That's slavery right there. That happened to us in slavery. That's right. The white man put that yoke and iron over around our necks, black man. He clothed us. He gave us food. He fed us. And we picked this cotton, man. Those things are punishment from God. Let me give you the major punishment, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. Go to verse 68, man. Go to verse 68. Now you mean you might you might have doubt in your mind that this ain't blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians alone. But I'm gonna give you further proof it is. It is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord was going to do what? Shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord was going to bring blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian into slavery again. Why? Because Moses just took that out of took that out of slavery. And he's prophesying that we were going to go in slavery again. Read on. With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. How did blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian come here to the Caribbean, man? To the Americas. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. We came here by way of ships. That's what prophesied thousands of years ago by the Most High Power, and it came to pass. This happened to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian, man. With proof to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian that you are God-chosen people, man. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. He said, by the way of you aren't going to see your homeland no more again. Now the so-called white man is across in Israel on blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian land. Stolen identity. I thought that was a crime by the white man. Stole our place, man. And it's prophesied in this Bible by Moses that we weren't going to see our homeland no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There ye shall be what? Sold unto your enemies. We were going to be sold unto our what? Your enemy. Who is the white man? Your enemy. Who is that red man? Your enemy. That's your enemy, black man. One, two, one, two. This is not necessarily for publication. This one here is rated R. Restricted. The reason it's rated R because what we about to bring out is an offense to the entire world. But that's not new because to bring out the gospel and the truth about Christ is to offend the entire world. The church system as we know it today is a farce and a lie. Islam as we know it today is a farce and a lie. These things have nothing to do with Christ, nothing to do with the King of the Jews, nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with the Savior. 